Uh, sweaters, football, and pumpkin spice. That's when you know fall is in the air. Yeah, it seems like everyone is selling something pumpkin these <laughs> days. So how did pumpkin spice become the flavor of the season? Good question. Heather Brown stopped in at Caribou to find out. What did you order today? The nitro pumpkin pie latte. We all know about the latte. Do you like pumpkin spice muffins? Yes. But have you heard about pumpkin spice Twinkies, you guys? Milano cookies. Pumpkin spice yogurt. Peanut butter. Cereal. Granola. Oreos. Kit Kats. Moisturizer. Almonds. Lip balm. Dog treats. Baileys. Mm. Here is the latest now addition to this mm. craze. Spam. Oh. Pumpkin spice toilet paper. It's time to be done. Cut it out. That's all. Is it just <laughs> too much? Yeah, it's too much. It's too much. Maybe not. Research has shown PSL buyers visit those chains twice as much in the season and buy 10% more. If I get it one time, I feel like I did my due diligence to like <laughs> fall and I'm happy. It's part taste. I love pumpkin. You would drink it in April. Oh, yeah. Part feeling. It just matches the fall, the colors, the taste. It's just all those flavor cues. I definitely feel like. We're shifting out of summer. And, and because it's a seasonal drink that you can't get year-round, it makes it extra special. McCormick and Company first came up with pumpkin pie spice in 1934 to make better-tasting pumpkin pies. But the flavor didn't really take off until 2003 when Starbucks introduced its PSL. I think I asked yesterday, what's all in a, what is a pumpkin spice? Both Caribou and Starbucks say their drinks have some pumpkin puree, but that pumpkin flavor often comes from spices similar to McCormick's blend. There's cinnamon, there's allspice, there's ginger, and there's nutmeg. So whether you like it, uh, I don't hate it, or love it, it's almost become a, a joke in some ways. I don't know why. But I simply have to drink that. I actively will never order a pumpkin spice something. <laughs> no. I'm like, deep down, you like it. Heather Brown. Oh, don't even with me, right? WCCO, yeah. 4 News. If you're wondering, are we at pumpkin spice peak? The numbers say probably not. No, pumpkin flavored products have been growing steadily for the last five years. In fact, last year's sales hit an all time high of nearly five and a half, or uh, nearly half a billion dollars. That's a lot of spice. Yes. Yeah. I enjoy the pumpkin spice. I'm down with it. Yeah. I don't get the haters. Nobody's making you drink it. Just <laughs> walk on by. There get you your go. other stuff.